There are two main locations where we can adjust the parameters of a Revit family. One location would be inside of the Revit project. The other location is inside of the family itself. To adjust the properties inside of the project, we would need to first activate the command for that family or select on that family somewhere inside of your project. In this case, I'll go up to the Architecture tab and select on Door. And here we can see the properties of this single flush door. Now, if I would place the single flush door inside of the project now, the instance parameters for that door would be located in this spot. The instance parameters are just those parameters that affect that specific door that you place. Now, there's also something called type properties. Type properties will affect all of the doors, which are 36 by 84 single flush. So not just the single door that you place, but all of the 36 by 84 single flush doors that may already be loaded into the project. And we can find those parameters underneath Edit Type. So when you select on Edit Type, you get the Type Properties dialog box. And from here, you can change such things as the material of the door and the overall size of the door. If we would click on OK to this, then just within this project environment, we'd have those new properties for the single flush door. Now I'm going to click on OK. But the other thing that we could do is modify these properties inside of the family itself. And we can do that if we go to the project browser, scroll down until we find our families, continue the scroll down until we find doors, expand out the doors category, and then select on single flush door. Right click on single flush door, then click on edit. And now this will open up the door inside of the family editor. Now we can find those type properties that we were looking at a moment before underneath the Create tab by selecting on Family Types. Here in the Family Types dialog box, we can find all the properties associated with that type, in this case 36 by 84, of door. If we wanted to create a new type of door, we could do that from this dialog box. Come over here to Family Types and then click on New. Now, instead of a 36 by 84 door, I think that I'll make a small little closet door, so a 24 by 84 door. So type in 24 by 84 and click on OK. Now we can adjust the properties of this size of door. Underneath Dimensions, we need to change the width instead of being 3 feet to be 24 inches or 2 feet. Click in any of these other cells and we'll see that it automatically updates that 24 inches to be two foot. Also, if we would come up where it has a name and click on this type selector list, we can choose one of the other types off of the list and we can see the properties of that type of door. So now we have that new type, the 24 by 84, with the correct width associated with it. Now, if we click on OK to that, notice how it automatically updates to have the correct width for the door. And now we have a couple of different options. If we want to use this in other projects, we could come up to Save, save the door in a location where we can find it, ideally someplace on our network. From there, we could load it into other projects. The other option that we have is just to come over here to load in the project and close. And when we do that, it will load this door immediately into our project. It says, do you want to save the changes to the single flush door? Select on yes. Do you want to replace the existing file? Select on yes. And yes, you want to override the existing version. Once you've done that, it doesn't look like much of anything has happened. But if you come up to the door underneath the architecture tab, you'll now see underneath properties on the type selector list, if we click, we now have a door, which is a 24 by 84 door. And if we would try to place that inside of our project, we now have a door of that type available to us. So just remember that there's two different locations where you can adjust these properties. One is inside of the project itself. That's just by selecting on the door, going to Edit Type, and then editing its properties from here. Your other option is to go under the project browser, find the family that you want to adjust, right-click on it, select on Edit, then at that point, you can adjust the properties directly inside of the family. And from there, you can either save it out of the project to use in future projects, or you can load that family back into your current project to have the new type of door available to you inside of the project.